What is up guys, Photo Fever here and welcome back to another Tuesday two minute tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can remove ISO grains from your photos using Photoshop. And I'm going to start right now. Right guys, so the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and choose a photo. And today I have on purposely chosen this photo because I shot it at a very high ISO. Now you might not necessarily be able to notice it straight away, but if we go ahead and zoom into the shadow areas, you can see we've got these red, green and blue splodges. And this is a classic representation of what ISO grain looks like. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and remove this by using the smart filters built into the camera raw filter. So firstly, what we could do is we're gonna go ahead and press duplicate the background layer. So we're gonna go ahead and press Command J on our keyboard. And as you can see, a new layer one has been applied. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to filter and then we're gonna go ahead to the camera raw filter. Now inside the camera raw filter, we want to go ahead and access the details panel on the right hand side. So we're gonna go ahead to our basics panel, turn that off, and we're gonna go ahead and drop down to detail. Now we want to skip sharpening, and we want to go down to noise reduction and color noise reduction. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom into a shadow area. So I'm gonna zoom into the gentleman's face. And then what I'm going to do is increase the noise reduction until you are happy with the amount of noise lost. But again, the issue is, it is RGB noise. That is red, green, and blue. So what we can do is go to the color noise reduction and reduce that like so as well. And what that will do is it will just decolorize the RGB noise. And all you need to do is now just balance out the noise reduction, detail, and contrast to get the best results possible. So what I can do now, so zoom out, I'm gonna go ahead and just save this quickly. I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. Obviously you can spend more time on this if you want. And what I'll do is I'll zoom into the shadow area and if I show you the before and I'll show you the after, brilliant. And there we go guys. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, but also subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. If you want to learn more about my two minute tutorials, I've got a playlist just up here. Or if you want longer, more in-depth tutorials, I've got my Photoshop tutorials just down here. But until next time, guys, keep creating.